up gang? Welcome back to another episode of Flint Hill Catfishing. The river's a little scrapey right now. Water's getting ready to come up. So, cutting a few paths down through the rapids here. So hang with me. We're gonna see if we can put some fish in the boat. We're taking an adventure about 11 miles down to Catawba today. Following behind Mr. Wesley Fail. So this ought to be a fun trip. I've never actually done this section before. All right, trying a few spots heading to fish today. Using some shad, gizzard shad. We'll cut a few of them up and get me something on the hook, guys. Got a fish on, it's gotta be a gar. On the Patriot James float rig, y'all. Got fishing with bobbers has its place, that's for sure. I haven't even got a look at him yet. I wonder if it's a flathead. He might be a big one. There he is, y'all. First cat of the day. He's a nice one, too. Let's see what's up, boy. It's good, I got some strange coloration on that side, look. Anyway, let's get him back in the drink, y'all. Well, thank you, big boy. You hit that thing hard. In pretty shallow water, y'all. Probably about, there he goes, and now he realizes he's alive again. There he goes, I can see him on the bottom. That's yeah, a nice uh, wake up call early in the morning. Let's do it again. I know one thing, if they can tangle you up, they'll do it. Oh, yeah. Great day. Fish on. Need a big one. Good guy. It's not pretty, but we've all seen that before if you catfish. Not a big one, just a little guy. I like this, I like catching fish. All right guys, tell him goodbye. <laughs> all right, so I had a little bit of line get tangled up in my trolling motor. So I took a break off the side of the bank, got my wrench out and stuff, and took the prop off and got the line out of it. And I'm just dragging baits to the next location. And all of a sudden, this guy just hammers it. I had it on a, one of James Smith's catfish bobbers. 
and it was just dragging in front of me, probably three foot down. Nailed it in four foot of water. Bobbers work. There's a place for them, and it sure is nice when you're drifting on a river too. You can uh, you can catch some fish like that, man. I'm gonna tell you what. All right, let's get this hook out. We're gonna let this guy go. He's a feisty little blue cat. Jeez, he peasy. That fish went crazy. Did y'all see that fish? That jumped straight out my hand. Dang. Boy, that hook was in him now. He won't go. <laughs> Did you like that saltwater quote? Yeah. All right, man. We're going to put this one back finally. See you, buddy. Actually startled me, man. I'm sitting there tying up a uh, bait rod to just bottom fish for some brim out here in the deeper water or whatever. And lo and behold, he slammed it. And all I was doing, uh, I wasn't using a trolling motor or anything. I was just drifting with the current, nice and easy and slow. Slammed it. It happens. I've caught two fish on the bobber today. Get this backlash stuff out of here. Got it. Man, I'm gonna tell you what, that guy was as green as they come, boy. He was ready. So like we always talk about, gang, catfish are in shallow water. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. I've gotten two out of four and a half foot of water today. All of them came on the catfish bobbers. It's just a great way to suspend a bait without getting hung up. Uh, at the depths you want in shallow water while you're uh, floating on a river. Lots of ways to fish them, but that definitely is a great way to do it. Let's see here. And all I had, honestly, I had cut a bunch of, uh, these were smaller shad, and I'd cut the tails, or cut a big head section off of a small shad. So it just left me these small tail pieces, and I had three tail pieces on it, and I just hooked through the tail like that. That's it. Caught two fish like that already. Just gonna do it again. Why not? Scared the bejesus out of me when he hit that thing, man. Old kayak shook. He was going crazy. All right, y'all. So it's been a long trip today. I didn't have my GoPro on because both my SD cards are completely full. 128 gigs. I'm doubled up. Got a fish on behind me and got the one in my hands and I got one on this rod right here. So I'm getting ready to get him in here in just a second. Let's uh let's release this guy first. Whoa. I'm in three and a half foot of water, y'all. Just floating. There he goes. Get out of here. This fish over here is mad now, y'all. Drop shot and out in the current, man. I think he's got a channel cat hit this thing. Feels like a good one. Oh, it's a blue. <laughs> this little freaking slinky rod right here, too, man. I'll tell you what. I don't even do anything. I know leader or nothing. Just a little teeny brim hook on here, guys.
nice little blue on an ultralight there now. He was giving me all kinds of crap, y'all. About five foot of water. Just threw this guy out there drop shotting a little bit. Boy, he messed that up something nice now. That's him. <laughs> That was a kind of special release right there. It's really a great morning for fishing because it's just, you know, nice and overcast and not really dying of heat right now, which is kind of a good thing. I'm just taking a little bitty pieces of shad, leaving the skin on one side and I'm going through that skin so it doesn't come off the hook so easy. And I'm just using those on drop shot rigs. And they kind of jiggle around down there and look kind of lively. So, hey, I'm coming up on a rock. All right, y'all. I apologize. Like I said, my, my SD cards are full. Even my phone just filled up. I mean, I've been filming all day, but I just caught this beautiful, like, dark beast of a catfish, man. He's He is tight, too. And... James Smith, Patriot Catfish of America, I have you know this was caught on your bobber in five and a half foot of water. Look at that bad boy, son. He's got some kind of brain damage or something. I don't know if somebody hit that fish in the head with something. See that? Maybe a, a bowfish shot? He's a boss, man. He's a survivor. Well, man, so sorry I didn't get to fight, guys, uh, but I had to take a picture. I mean, that's, that's the biggest fish I caught all day, and he's almost gone. <laughs> Look, always put your hand through the fish grip. I barely had onto that little ball on the end. Oh, I don't know what he weighs. He's probably 30, something like that. There he goes. Quick release. These do wear out over time, just so you know. I've had them for three years. I think it's about time for another. That was a heck of a fish, y'all. Y'all, that was one of the most uh, unique fish I've ever seen. I mean, a lot of people have trouble calling catfish pretty. I think they're awesome. But that black, dark, bluish color like that was just, uh, that's pretty unique. I've only caught a few like that, but I've never caught a big one like that. Uh, the one I lost in one of my previous videos was uh, actually dark like that, but it wasn't that dark. Um, that was a big fish in five and a half foot of water. So I don't know about the lake. I don't fish lakes a whole lot, but rivers... They for sure ain't always deep. That's for sure. What do you think, Wesley? I think that them fish get them suntans in that shallow water, baby. <laughs> I knew I'd get an intelligent answer from the river rat. <laughs> anyway, we've had a good day out on the river. We're going to drag some baits rest of the way to the takeout. And uh, he told me literally about 20 minutes ago, he's like, probably wouldn't hurt to drag a few baits, man. I've caught some big ones out here before. I've caught three fish in probably 40 minutes, so, anyway. And I caught zero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, you were the guide today, bro. Look, I'm trying. You were the guide today, I'm man. Trying. Come on, now. I caught a bass. You were the guide. I caught a bass. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I love fishing with this dude. We had a good time today, man. We did some river miles today, and uh, just kind of an adventure, and that's why my SD cards are full. That's why my phone is full. Anyway. I'm going to get back at it, see if we can do it again. Well, gang, we didn't get any more fish on that last mile of the river before the takeout, but who cares? What an awesome trip. I got to paddle a stretch of river I've never paddled before. It was beautiful. And I got to fish that stretch of the river I've never fished, and it was it was productive. I mean, we caught some fish. It was a good trip. Um, I'd like to personally thank Wesley Phil for putting up with me for 11 and a half miles and 13 hours on the river. Um, we had a great time hanging out. It was really, really a fun trip. Um one of the things I learned on this trip the most was shallow water fishing for catfish with bobbers. And uh, I, I caught a lot of fish on that bobber. It was a really effective way to fish shallow shoals on rivers. Uh, I haven't used them much in a lake, but I'm sure a lot of it's the same. But um, on the river, it was, it was a great tool to have in the toolbox. There's lots of bobbers out there. If you're wondering which one I was using, it's Patriot Catfishers of America, James Smith. He, uh, he makes 
uh, catfish bobbers and they're awesome. I mean, they will hold up a heavy weight and a heavy bait. Um, there's an LED that matches the color of the bobber uh, on the top of it. I mean, it's it's a good bobber. So get you some, get it in your tackle box and start going after some of those fish that maybe you're not catching down on the bottom. So anyway, thanks a lot for coming along, gang. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you on the next one.